welcome to Storyboard 18 Visionaries, an event that celebrated visionaries in the world of marketing. Our focus in this episode is on exceptional CMOs who catapulted their companies and brands to new heights through their outstanding work. The inaugural edition of Storyboard 18 Visionaries was recently held at Gurugram. Storyboard 18 Visionaries provided a platform for the sharpest minds in brand marketing to convene, celebrate excellence and exchange ideas that power growth. The event kicked off with a special talk by none other than Suresh Narayanan, the dynamic chairman and managing director of Nestle India Limited, setting the tone for an inspiring journey into the realm of marketing visionaries, matching innovation and purpose. If there is only one thing that you have to remember at the end of my time that I have today is the Doha of Kabir. Vriksha Kabuni Falabake, Nadina Siche Neer, Parmaratke Karane, Sadhun Dara Sajir. Vriksha, the tree never eats its fruit, the river never drinks its water. It is for the sake of mankind that the sadhu has donned life form on earth. That is the role of leadership. I have got not three, but almost four decades of experience in the trenches to have learnt a few principles. The first principle of leadership that I've learnt is that everyone must have an attitude, an attitude in a positive spirit. It's all about having a mindset to say that I will overcome and that we shall overcome. If there's one statement from Mahatma Gandhi that you need to remember is the fact that a leader is not known by the followers he has, it is by the leaders he makes. That's your role as marketeers, that's your role as CEOs. The second principle is authenticity. So be authentic. The fact of the matter is, is that you're at least true to your skin and being true to your skin gives you a power that is enormous. The third principle is of agility. This is a world where you have to discard your thoughts every second day. So agility and therefore adaptability. Both of these are becoming extremely important in your profession. You see heroes becoming zeros, not so much because of lousy strategies, it's because of lousy leadership. Purpose, people, planet, partnerships, and you will finally get performance. Hum kya karte hain? Pehle performance and last people, and maybe partnerships grudgingly. If at all we think that partnerships are worthwhile. That is the core essence of who we are as marketeers, who we are as leaders, who we are as people who have to make things happen. So remember, competence, clarity, confidence, creativity, and finally, something that we have forgotten in this world today, compassion. And since all of you marketeers speak the language of the consumer, I would leave you with the Doha of Kabir. Aisi bani boliye, manka apa khoi, auran ko sheetal kare, apu sheetal hoi. Thank you all very much for your patient listening. Thank you. The initial round of felicitations at Storyboard 18 Visionaries illuminated the stage, honouring outstanding achievers from Shashank Srivastav of Maruti Suzuki India to Saurabh Jain of Rekit, Parash Sharma of Meta, Anup Manohar from Axis Bank, Karthik Mohindra of Purno Rickard India, Rajat Abbey of Schneider Electric, Rahul Singh from SAP, Raj Rishi Singh of Make My Trip, and Rahul Talwar of Max Live. The evening also featured a captivating discussion moderated by Storyboard 18's Delshad Irani, with distinguished participants such as Kulmeet Bawa, President and MD SAP India, Asim Kaushik, MD L'Oreal India, Prativa Mohapatra, VP and MD Adobe India, Sukhleen Aneja, CEO Good Glam Group, Madhav Shet, 
CEO H Tech and Devendra Chavla, CEO Green Cell Mobility. They explored the relationship between CEOs and their CMOs and the potential for CMOs to ascend to the role of CEOs. Thank you so much for joining us today for this intriguing panel discussion on CEOs and CMOs, partners in growth. Let me just start off with a very simple question, but perhaps in its simplicity lies the challenge. I'm just gonna go to all of you, each of you, and ask you in one word to tell me what the CMO or your marketing leadership's role means to you. Madhav, I'll come to you first. The one word, one word. Trust. Critical. Prativa? Customer experience. Okay. Consumer first. Mm -hmm. Asim? Revolution. 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 Partnership. Lovely. So that says a lot, I think, here. And it is a relationship that, of course, is transforming. But Kulmit, let me just come to you first. And, and tell me, what are your expectations of your CMO? Expectations? Uh... Uh, number one, of course, would be uh, demand creation, demand generation, which is something that translates into a, uh, a real robust pipeline for us, which in the near term or uh, a little longer term can translate into business. Uh, and along with that, what's extremely important to me, Dilshad, when I interact with Rahul is, how do we build creativity uh, even in building demand, building, uh, you know, generating demand and generating pipeline. So number one is uh, demand gen. Number two would be uh, very clearly, you know, customer experience, like Pratibha said, is front and center at every single touch point right. that somebody interacts online, offline. And of course, uh, I can come up with examples. Mm -hmm. And lastly is the holding the brand uh, image for us and mm -hmm. also translating it to the local uh, market, local environment. So keep, the, keep what SAP means and then have it rooted into what India demands from a nation perspective. Raseem, let me come to you and ask you what are the key qualities of the, a CMO today, especially in such complex times, right? Digital becomes an eminent part of uh, what you do today in marketing. And when you're a CMO, and specifically for L'Oreal, you know, and we are a very old, 100-year-old uh, company, which is purely doing only beauty, right? And almost eight, nine years ago, L'Oreal realized that technology becomes very, very imperative if we have to continue to grow. So uh, we re-Christianed ourselves as, the, as not just the beauty company, but as a beauty tech company. CMO for L'Oreal in India, uh, Saloni, who works for us, is actually a CDMO. She is the chief digital and marketing officer. So it inherently then becomes part of what you do on a regular level, you know, when you're looking at consumers, when you're looking at building your brands, when you're looking at, uh, you know, eventually creating uh, demand, uh, as, as, as we say, and, and a profitable business in the end. So digital becomes a very, very core part of now a CMO's responsibility. Uh, Prativa, I'm going to ask you about the, uh, quickly, if you could just tell us what are the pain points, you know? Is there a little bit of perhaps murkiness with expectations again um, when it comes to the CEO and the CMO relationship, the partnership? How do you forge that, get past those pain points? I think not pain points, it's the expectation which is changing. So it's the evolution of the role of marketing and hence the expectations between the CEO and CMO. For that matter, CEO and everybody, every CXO Absolutely. is changing rapidly. Mm -hmm. uh, so the conflict comes when there is an expectation mismatch. So clearly laying out the expectation, which is, hey, you are my CMO, what do I expect from you? Number one, you have to be my speed dial for anything customer-centric. If I call you up and ask, tell me why is this customer segment behaving this way? Or why is this customer segment uh, not behaving this way? So the CMO should know that the CEO expects him or her to be the speed dial for everything customer-centric. Second, of course, you are the brand custodian, so something's not going well with our brand, and I will call you up and uh, ask you, hey, what happened? Uh, what happened to this pitch? Was it even relevant? So you are my custodian of brand. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, last but not least is in the new world order, we expect the CMOs to own some clear business outcomes. So these are the three expectations which I would clearly lay out. And if that's clear, there'll be no conflict. It'll be a damn good job. And that's why many of the CMOs are becoming CEOs as well. Madhav, uh, there are expectations, of course, of CMOs, but there are also, it's the other way too, right? The expectations of CEOs. It's a two-sided relationship. How does it work for you? I was uh, going through a study where it was very clearly mentioned that only 30% of the CEOs trust their CMOs. I have seen that study. <laughs> <laughs> only 30%. <laughs> which means that 70% of the people or 70% of the CEOs don't trust their CMOs. The reason is only because it's more about the marketing jargons, what the CMOs speak. And they, I believe the CEOs want their probably CMOs to be involved with the business discussions, part of their strategies, and make sure they probably they understand the ROI language. So probably I think uh, to answer your question, it is extremely important that a CEO gives them a passage to a CMO to make sure that probably they are part of all the strategies. They understand what is the business vision so they can drive the value to the customers. The most important thing is the CMO has to drive the value to the customer. It's not just about communicating to the customer, it's about the company's values which have been downloaded to the customer and that is extremely important. Let me come to you, Sukleen, and if you could just perhaps, you know, pick up from where Madhav left off. What, what can you sort of perhaps share with us from, from your movement from a CMO to CEO? And running, of course, a homegrown company, fairly new in the game. I think, see, all of us today in the room would say without a doubt that the very reason why we're here is because we're bearing the fruit of the brands that we've built. So today, I think every single CMO can never forget that irrespective of the world moving to digital or still working with a traditional first approach, Basic, fundamental human needs have not shifted. So sometimes what seems easy today hurts us in the long term. So I think finding that balance and if both CMOs and CEOs are in sync on the business and the brands they want to build and the fundamental reason why your brand exists. You know, if today you are, your brand has a mission towards a purpose and that purpose in, fundamentally then has to drive everything that you do. And then if that mission is in sync, mm -hmm. I don't think the two functions will ever have contrary objectives. Devendra, I have to come to you next. I mean, I also want to sort of get your quick comment on what Madhav said about uh, marketers and jargon. Yeah, and I'll first comment on what Madhav said about that study where 70% CEOs don't trust their CMOs. I think more than the CMOs, it speaks about the CEO. I think they have trust issues. Uh, I mean, to to not trust your own marketing person, 70, I mean, that's quite news. We come from an era we were always told in marketing when we were younger that marketing is effective, we don't know which half, remember? And then came digital, and then came performance marketing, and somebody said, oh, you can measure it, like what you're spending and what you're getting. And that's fantastic in the age of digital, and you can't take away from it, like we're gonna live in that world. But the problem is we've made marketing very transactional right? And this whole thing of customer acquisition cost and the budgets which comes with it, I think has given a very myopic view to what marketing has become today, which is sort of sad because when an innovation or a product has been built, apparently now marketing comes after it, mm. right? Product is, innovation is made and you're going to market it. To my mind, I think marketing comes much before it. Like, I mean, are you ready for the innovation? Is the organization ready for the innovation? So marketing has to move on from customer acquisition and customer retention mm -hmm. and all these jargons which we all use. I think it's all about the purpose. Why is the company there? And understand what are the pain points or what motivates the consumer and what is the product market fit? Brave new world, exciting new world, and new partnerships, CEOs, CMOs, CFOs. Uh, of course, this merits a longer discussion. We didn't even get into budgets, you know, uh, talk about budgets. But thank you so much. Thank you all for joining us this evening and celebrating this glorious room full of marketeers. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dilshad. Thank, thank you, you. Dilshad. The second set of felicitations saw top marketers from various industries recognized for their contributions to the field of marketing. This included Apurva Sirkar of Bandhan Bank, 
आशीष तिवारी ऑफ होम क्रेडिट इंडिया चंदन मुखर्जी ऑफ नेस्ले हरदीप बरार फ्रॉम किया इंडिया सुमित माथुर ऑफ पेटीएम आदित्य बब्बर ऑफ सैमसंग इंडिया एंड अनीता नायर ऑफ पतंजलि आयुर्वेदा founder and executive vice chairman of InfoEdge Sanjeev Bhikchandani discussed the startup landscape in India through a fireside chat with Vani Gupta Dandia Sanjeev since this event is called visionaries let's start by um, with with the concept of visionaries were you did you see yourself as a visionary when you started Nokri no uh, Nokri was a small idea basically when i got the when we launched nokri there were 14000 internet accounts in the country this is 97 uh, we had no idea where the internet will go what will happen uh, there was no dot com valuation there was no venture capital there was nothing mera ek simple tha idea tha ki if we can get 500 companies every month to pay 1000 rupees to list one job on the site you get 5 lakhs a month my sales target sir right you get 5 lakhs a month uh that's 60 lakhs a year i was running a small company out of the servant quarter of the garage in my house uh and we have doing 12 lakhs a year turnover doing a, f- a few things and uh, sometimes i could take a salary sometimes i could not and i said yaar agar 60 lakh ho jaye in 3 saal mein to mai mai tankha nikal jayegi right uh and my whole aim was if in 3 years i can do 60 lakhs in a year शायद दस लाख प्रॉफिट बन जाए शायद मैं पाँच लाख तनखा ले लूँ देट इज माई ओनली एम एंड नाउ सो विजन अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इज वेरी ऑफन वॉट अदर्स एट्रीब्यूट टू सक्सेसफुल पीपल इन हाइंड साइट टॉक टू अस अबाउट द रोल ऑफ एडवर्टाइजिंग इज इट पॉसिबल टू बिल्ड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग ब्रांड विद नो एडवर्टाइजिंग मनी और विद वेरी लिटिल एडवर्टाइजिंग मनी इन द वर्ल्ड वी इन हैबिट इट इज पॉसिबल आई एम नॉट सेंग वी डू इट वी डू स्पेंड ऑन मार्केटिंग सुमित इज हियर बट बट लुक हाउ मच हेज गूगल स्पेंड ऑन एडवर्टाइजिंग is a big brand how much is, how much is facebook spent right is a big brand so it's possible i'm not saying it's the only way to do it or the best way to do it but it's possible if you are solving an unsolved problem uh, chances are the customer will buy your product uh, without you having to sell and in all our categories that we've done well we we've, we've created the category we've pioneered the category we were the first job site so what was the first best listing site policy was the first insurance comparison site if you're pioneering a category uh and you're giving people something they need uh it will sell without advertising advertising is an accelerator it makes a good product succeed faster it makes a bad product fail faster the next set of felicitations celebrated accomplished marketers representing a variety of industries recognizing their impactful contributions to the world of marketing this featured rajiv jain from ds group ruchira jetli of diageo india vikrant mudliar from dream 11 and virat kullar of hyundai motor india the event further encompassed insightful conversations one on the state of media quality in india led by saurav khatter country manager for india at integral ad science and another on the promising future of generative ai in marketing guided by the founder and ceo of gan.ai suvrat bhushan both discussions were led by storyboard 18 shibani gharat saurav thank you for joining us uh, first of all uh, tell us how is it imperative uh, for the indian advertisers to actually uh, you know think about media quality as a focal point for their strategies let me talk about media quality first media quality what is media quality so media quality is a measure of how safe suitable and efficient an advertising channel is um and it encompasses three major things first brand safety and suitable are advertisers sharing their advertisements around safe and suitable content or it's around harmful and offensive content second is ad fraud making sure that advertisements are around non fraudulent placements and there is no invalid or bot traffic and the third most important parameter is viewability and attention matrix actually making sure that ads are viewable and seen 
thank you for your participation. Thank you for sharing these insights with us. Thank you so much. If you can share with us, how can AI uh, help create, uh, you know, innovative, creative campaigns? If you were in school, uh, the teacher, like I'm sure a lot of you have tuned out to what I'm saying as well, right? But if I were to go to you and say, you know, what is your name? Um, and, you know, like I say, you know, like, Anupreet, listen to me, please, for the next, I will have your attention for the next 30 seconds. Like, all of you will start paying attention to me if I say, sir, please listen to me, like, whatever your name is, right? And that's sort of, you know, the core nuance of the technology that we are powering. Uh, like, you know, you essentially can get, you know, Virat Kohli to, you know, shoot for you. But it doesn't really matter to, to your core audience. But if I can sort of, you know, have Virat Kohli address every single person by their name, say, you know, Sivrat, like, please come buy the smartphone that I'm launching, like, you will pay attention. Like, you know, that person will be just forced to listen to what this person is saying. Um, and, you know, that's sort of the attention that we can get you. We can get that 30 seconds of a person's attention and make him listen to the message uh, that you're trying to convey. Thank you so much, Surat. Thanks for sharing these insights with us. Thank you all for joining us today. Let's embrace the power of AI in marketing and lead the way in this transformative era. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. In the final round of awards, top marketers were applauded for their outstanding contributions. This round featured recognition for exemplary marketeers, such as Amya Velenkar from Uber India, Nidhi Hola from Dell Technologies, and Bhairvi Rangarajan of Kohler India Corporation. Inaugural edition of Storyboard 18 Visionaries proved to be a resounding success, a remarkable gathering that exalted excellence in marketing and innovation. As the event concluded, all participants departed not only inspired, but also enriched by the invaluable insights and experiences shared.